Professor Pujak and dear Mayor of Split, I welcome you in Mediterranean Institute for Life Sciences for nth time. Uh, and this time the occasion is a seminar, a school uh, by CERN, where you have spent a lot of time and still collaborate with them. Will you tell us something about the initial meeting that I think you you have initiated uh, and uh, about this meeting uh, which is just going on. Uh, okay, yes, uh, thank you for, for inviting me for, 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 uh, in such a lovely place as, uh, as Medellin cities. Uh, well, the story about CERN with me starts, uh, starts in 1994, 27 years ago, but with the school that we are organizing in 2007, when we organized a school in Dubrovnik. And this is called CERN School of Computing. And uh, the people from CERN, they liked it so much, they, they invited me to participate in the next organization of the schools, which are actually taking place every year in different towns mm -hmm. in Europe. And, uh, and then uh, after, what, well, from 2007, it, it ran from 2007 to 2013. And in 2013, we had an idea to organize so-called thematic school, which is school concentrated on one topic in computing or in physics. And they said, okay, let, let us, let us, the concept of the school was that the school is actually every year changing the place somewhere in Europe. Mm -hmm. And for the first school, I said, okay, let's organize the first school in Split, mm -hmm. in Medels. Mm -hmm. And they said, okay, why not? And then we organized the first iteration of this school, which is thematic school in Split. And they liked it so much that they said, okay, let, let us organize the next, next year school again in Split. And then it was next year and next year, and since then, since 2013, it's organizing in Split in Medias. And this is the only school from CERN, and they have many different schools, which is taking place in one, in one place in Split in this, this occasion. And we all understand why, because this is such a beautiful place. Everyone that came here, it's mm -hmm. immediately uh, uh, clear mm -hmm. and, and straightforward why they have chosen this place mm -hmm. because this is not not only such a nice place which is near the sea in the in the wood and, and it, with, mm -hmm. the, with the perfect ambience it's also a scientific ambience that you have created mm -hmm. and when you come here and see all the scientific uh, spirit mm -hmm. which is which is floating around then you really you, uh, that, then really you, you can you can uh, you can feel feel scientific and this yeah. is what they what they felt and this is why they keep coming every year. Uh, so how, how, how do you uh, feel in, after first months uh, in, in, in this uh, new, new role? Just, just briefly, I'm curious. <laughs> well, that's, you know, sci science, and particularly hard science, mm. it looks uh, complicated for some people. Mm. But politics is 10 times more complicated than science. Science is nice. And it's rewarding, and the politics mm. is frustrating, and difficult, uh, and, and it's really not not very pleasant, I have to say. So, but anyway, so this this is my choice to be a politician at this moment. I, but I really, I re really, I miss science a lot. Yes. This is why I'm so happy to be here with you tonight. You know, I'm pretty convinced that the future belongs to science. Mm. And as as we uh, mm. invest, invest in science and yeah. scientists, I think that then then we will have a real future right. in the modern world. Right. Yes, I'm really delighted what you said about CERN, about the because the people who come here are 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 impress, impressive, and I'm um, uh, for 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 us here in the institute, it means a lot that people who are who are competent, who are passionate, they work a lot compared to other meetings you know they they are here sometimes until midnight they really work uh, take this as a workshop and, and 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 school and and we are all delighted and especially myself that uh, they chose this place uh, uh, as a place for their school and, and seminars and hope this will this will continue Oh, I'm sure that it will continue. I, I, I'm sure that we will bring some other colleagues as well. Mm. And thank you for your invitation. I will really take it. And I particularly like, like this art and science. And I think this is a very good uh, way of connecting yes. these two fields of, of human and endeavor. Yes. Which are, which yeah, are given, given the title of your lecture this evening, which I like very much, uh, this art and science maybe has something to do. We are trying to understand 
as biologists, but working with musicians and musicologists like my wife and, 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 and our director of the symphony orchestra, Harris Lauder and others, to understand what's harmony. Because in your position as politician, I guess the purpose is to, to the wish is to live in a harmonious society. Yes, yes, but we will never actually get it there <laughs> through the politics. And, and for, the, for the health is, is the wish to, to have a complex organism as we are that plays like a you know, best orchestra, a biochemical harmony. So from, from physicists, I expect that one day we may define specifically enough this harmony. For the moment, is that the harmony is the uh, synchrony of vibrations. The, I would like to have a metric, as physicists would, would certainly, uh, and to measure the level of harmony of my body, <laughs> of the society, of, you know, uh, to, to, to have this harmony uh, as, the, as the purpose, actually, of, of life and uh, and, and a lot, yeah, and see, a lot of you that. You see through my lectures tonight. I think yeah. that we will actually live in more and more uh, harmony in the world all yes. together, but in the short term. In the longer term, everything will end up in the complete mess because entropy is increasing, and by the end of the universe, everything will disappear. <laughs> but in the short term, several thousands of years, <laughs> the harmony will actually increase. I think. On 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 that note, I look forward now to. Uh, to listen to your to your lecture and uh, again hope you will be here often just you know dropping dropping by and we can continue the discussion on the what is harmony and how to measure it yes thank you